My name is Alpha, and this is my story. This is my story starts like, well, I grew up in a Christian home, obviously, where we pray every day, we usually study the world, and I learned a lot from the world that I learned through that, but I didn't really have my own personal relationship with him. I didn't know that he was my own personal savior, and sure, I didn't know a lot of things about the world, but I knew the world in a sense. So, before I met Jesus on my own, I had a lot of problems like I had to go through. So God helped me, even without me knowing him. God was actually very merciful to me, but I had a lot of mistakes, a lot of problems, and I was just almost struggle, often struggle in different areas. But then I think so then later in my life, after knowing God, I got finally got to know him for my own. And then after I knew him on my own, he was just so like faithful, just so favorable for me. I was so able to get so many, able to get so many opportunities, and a lot of the mistakes I had before, he really helped me correct them and connect to him more. Like every time I know him, he just helps me and speaks to me in so many ways. Uh, I think. Uh, there was a point in my there was a certain point in my time where in my life actually where I had emotional issues. I think everybody has actually had that, but this one was due to me not being not knowing Jesus at the time. So I had my own personal issues. I had a lot of emotional problems I had to go through, and. I couldn't get through them on my own. I don't decide to isolate myself from others. As I don't decide to all that. If I isolate myself from others, then nobody can hurt me if I do. So, um, but I was actually found out that so I carried this mentality throughout my years as a, as a kid. I carried this mentality throughout until I now finally met Jesus on my own. I met him during um, service. My, my dad actually wanted me to join class. It was a foundational class just to learn Jesus and just know more about him. And then through that class, I actually learned a lot. I finally decided in my own that I want to have this personal relationship that God is having. And then since then, it was actually been very, 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 very good after going for me as well. So I did that. A lot of my problems are issues I had before. They actually helped me overcome them. Even health issues, um, personal issues, those main guidance, those main guidance just helped me through all of it. Um, I just have to be very thankful for that. Um, I think when I got to this, when I got to when I go to school, in bar, my parents, they're just like, after, after some time it's gone, my parents are just like, oh, and you've changed, and you've changed a lot. And I knew that it was just God that just changed me. So, basically, this is my story. I don't think there is no sense to say. Secondary school years. Uh, secondary schools. At secondary schools, I think it was a federal school. And at the federal school, it's, 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 it's actually a federal school, yes, a boys' school. And there are just so many people just doing the wrong thing. And then the wrong thing has just become the norm, actually. And then, so everybody is now following in line without wrong. And then here I am, now newly found in Christ. And I decided, oh, that's, this is wrong. I'm not doing it. And then I'm now the odd one out. Out of almost, out of almost most people, most people like my whole set. Uh, I think it was actually, it actually caused a little bit of struggle. With people, uh, struggles with people, struggles with friends, academics, just my general social life 
in general, utterly very struggling with it. But one thing I actually learned from actually being with God, actually fellowshipping with Him, one thing I actually learned is that you don't actually you don't need people's approval. You don't actually need people's approval for you. You don't need to follow. It works because many people are following the wrong. It doesn't mean you should join them. Whether it's whether you are seen as the odd one out, or whether it means that you. Uh, insulted or so, so I knew I held those convictions very close. Um, I think it actually helped me and guided me throughout my whole secondary school career. Uh, I actually was able to go through all of it and without being getting into any massive trouble because getting into trouble has been so easy. Just any little thing, bam, I got into trouble with the teacher, got into trouble with the principal. Before you know it, you yeah, the principal's office, they are calling your parents. I just have to find out that I wasn't found in any of that. And I think reasonably, I had a very good time, very good relationship with God. What is your standout experience so far? Do you have any standout experience? Standout experience? Um, yes, yes, yes. I think this one wasn't too long ago, actually. This one wasn't too long ago. So, basically, I was going somewhere, and then he just, and I just heard the voice, I was just like, turn back or go to this place. Go to this place. I think it was a class. It was a class. I was just basically told me that go to this class. So I was just like, okay, why do I need to go to this class? So I just thought, all right, let me just go. So I went to class. Class had started there. And then when class had started, boom, there was a test, a surprise test, which a lot of people missed that day. A lot of people missed. And I was just like, wow, that's. If I had missed this test, I don't actually know how I've gotten the makeup but for the, the man gave the makeup test. It took some time. So I was actually very happy for that. I think another one was another recent one that I remember was um, I had an I had a project that was to be submitted and I couldn't finish the project before the deadline. And I was just like how I going to submit this because people were submitting and the final thing, the, the final increment I needed to finish the project wasn't available in the whole school. So I was just like, how was I going to do this? How was I going to do this? I think eventually I just said, let me just go with the After praying, I prayed, prayed, prayed. I was like, what is this? Just please help me. How am I going to submit this and get my mark? Only for me to just get there and then somehow as I just got there, I just let me just go and uh, talk to the lecturer. Maybe I can convince him to postpone the deadline as well. I got there and just miraculously, uh, the person we're submitting to was somebody I knew in the fellowship. So he was actually able to help me through that. He was actually able to help me through the fellowship, through his knowledge of me. So I was like, all right, that, don't worry, that you get to me, those stuff. And then that same day, I was going back um, after I passed, I was going back to my hostel and I ran into somebody. I was just like, um, Where is he going? They were just like, We have a class, remember? I was just like, Oh, yes, a class. And there was an assignment we needed to submit. So I was just like, And I was like, All right, all right, let me just go for that class. Only for me to just go to the class. And then, boom, the man said, That he's going to, that, that very assignment was the one I was going to use to calculate our mark. And if he didn't, if he did not submit it, if he did not submit it to assignment, which is online and physical, that was just going to, it's going to be zero overall. You need both of them. And I didn't remember. I was going back home, and then somebody just came. He just, I just the path, the route I followed wasn't one I even usually followed. And then just, just guided the person to me. I just told me, and then back to class. I was able to submit it. So. I think I've had a lot of experiences like that actually, many experiences like that, but I think those are like a few I remember for now, right?